Best scene of Burden of the Blood Moon by Paige O'Brien. Interior back room. The window glows red glow from the blood moon. Mara, 20s, paces nervously in the storage room of a bar. I, I didn't think it would find us here. What, Mara? Oh, I don't understand. What are you babbling on about? Mara stops pacing. Wait. She spins around and walks towards Max and Lynn. They didn't find us. Mara points at Lynn's bloody knee, accusingly. You? Us? Yes. You two let it here. Let it to us. We did what? What is she talking about? Are you crazy? What is happening? The blood moon is happening. Joe looks at Mara with a cautious expression. Mara, what are you saying? You're scaring us all. I think you're scared now. What is that supposed to mean? Max, what the hell were you two running from? What is out there? I, I don't know. It's some kind of creature or animal. It's a thing. It's... it's... Squeals and screeches just outside. Oh, God! Lynn coils into a ball. Mara looks at her watch. The time is nearing quickly. Why did you two come here and not go home? None of your business. Max looks at Joe. Who does she think she is? Mara, stop. This would not be happening if they hadn't. Shut up. Just stop talking. Screech, wail, the red light illuminates the room. Who the hell are you? She's just someone passing through. A stranger. Lynn gasps, remembering the tarot card reading. A stranger? The cards? She just needed a place to crash. Bellows and wails. Joe walks over to the window and looks up. She searches the shelves and finds a first aid kit. She pulls the ladder over to the window and leans it against the wall. Bellows and wails. High-pitched screech. Mara looks around the room. Hear that? He knows we are here. Where we all are. Why do you know it's a he? This is insane. Max, maybe, maybe it's all we had to drink. Or maybe it's just some animal on the loose. Lynn, you saw. Not really. Think about it. What did we really see? Joe peers through the window. A loud screech, then a crash. A trash can rolls by. Then a long tail slithers across the alley and smacks the window. Thump. Startled, Joe falls off the ladder. The first aid kit goes flying across the floor. Damn it. Bellows and wails rise from just outside. Mara turns her attention to Joe. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Joe returns from the window with the first aid kit. Her bare feet flop against the cement floor. Mara looks at her watch. A bellow. Screech. Loud crash. The creature has gotten into the bar. Oh god, it's gotten inside. Inside the bar? 37. What the hell are you talking about, Mara? That's when the blood moon ends. That's all the time we have. Joe looks at Max and Lynn with great concern. Mara, stop talking in riddles. What the hell is out there? What did you see out the window, Joe? I don't know what I saw. It was a glimpse of a tail or something. If there is something you aren't telling us, Mara, you better start talking. Crash, wail, crash. The creature, now just outside the steel door, grows impatient. Bam, 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 it beats on the steel door. Mara, explain yourself now. Joe grabs Mara forcefully by the shoulders. Let go of me. What is going on? What is out there? Who are you? I'm warning you, let go. Warn me all you like. I'm not letting you go until you talk. Joe pushes Mara up against the wall. They come with the blood moon to hunt. Who? The Menelore. To hunt what? Witches. I told you, she's crazy. Oh, you hide your powers. You came for me, didn't you? I tracked you down, yes. Your essence is strong, Joe. You will survive. As will I. Now let go. I'll let you go after you explain everything. Mara squeezes her eyes shut. <laughs> Joe is thrown across the room by Mara's powers. She hits the wall and crumbles to the ground. Mara's eyes open. They have turned black. I warned you. Your powers are strong, but not as strong as mine. Lynn screams out. Max pulls her sister over to the far corner of the cot. What's happening? Joe, are, are you all right? Squeal, crash, wail. Just beyond the steel door. Joe stands and straightens her t-shirt. She glares at Mara. I'm fine. Mara looks down at her watch. 31. We're lucky these two are lessers. What is that supposed to mean? Mara stares at Lynn with a threatening glare. Wait, why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Joe approaches the steel door and listens. She motions for everyone to stay quiet. Shh. Lynn looks hopeful. Joe unlocks the vault. No! 